Are they um okay so I just wanna go through like I wanna edit some of these images with the um HDR merge. Uh I just wanna show you guys what I basically do. Um so <clears throat> so I have my three exposures here. Now when I look at my lightest exposure I see that that's a bit easy. So before I take it into um, Photoshop. I just want to play with this DAs a bit just to make the detail a bit better more contrast in it. Uh, I don't want it to look washed out so also I'm gonna select all the layers so when I do that deazing, I do it on the bright layer if I need to and then I'll select all the layers and maybe if the yellows are too much and I'll take it a bit down on all three layers. You know, sometimes you might not need to do it on all, but I'm basically I just select all the layers, take down some of the warmth, and then open. Stack it. And then HDR merge. And then you get like these in the results. Um, then you can adjust the restore shadows layer. Or you could, if you want to bring more detail in the bright in the bright areas, in the highlights, you can delete the mask on the dark layer. Um, and then apply a blend dark mask to it. Like that. You'll get more detail in the bright areas. Um, I would then bring up the properties. I just need to double click on the mask to bring up the properties but if you have yours set to default to open with a selected mask and then it's going to open with selected mask when you double click so I'm just going to show you where to go so properties and then you can increase the feather so you don't want to leave like halos around the highlights or around windows or so on so you increase it to like just blend it in Fade it in nicely. And then you still get that detail back. Um, let's open an, another one. I'm just going to run through a few now. So, this one. Okay, I already increased the DIs on this one. Select all of them. Did I take down the yellows? I think I did. Okay, let's take it a bit more. I think blues as well. Or what is that? Si Aqua. So can I take it all the way down? Yeah. Maybe some blues. Uh, greens. Because I don't think that should have been green there. I think that the other angle shows a different color. And now open images. Uh, stack it and then HDR merge and then we can maybe bring down this restore shadows layer seems a bit too light so something like that let's do the next image so you're still some warmth on the ceiling um, if you want to you can you can either flatten the layer or create a new merge layer but I just I just flatten it you can open your camera raw and then you can do some other tweaks in here and then you can go again to your yellows bring down yellows you don't want to make it look desaturated like this looks too much so if it comes to a case like that and then you need to get out some of that yellow but you don't want to take it out of the like the wood or tiles so then you can go to your post process tools and maybe use the color range mask and then click onto your warm areas on the image hold down shift and then you add more so just click on all the warm areas uh, so here you can see that it's selected like the wall uh, 
because the wall is white. Um, so any th so that's basically your masking here. Uh, what is white is going to be selected, and what's black or gray, uh, uh, it's going to be deselected. So gray is kind of like in between. You can take down your fuzziness if you want to isolate that wall a bit better. But you don't have to be like too perfect. So I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to click onto this hand tool. Click on the warm areas and drag that color out there. So here's also a bit more. Okay, so I can't pull this color all the way out. And that is because of my... Let me cancel and show you why. Oh, yeah. And that is because of the gray that I left in here. I didn't select it properly. I didn't select the entire wall. I left some areas to be gray. So it leaves some of that color there. So let me just do that again. Color range. Just make sure you get in between. There. Yeah, even in the shadow. Then on the wall. So. Yeah, we can see. So in between. You can even click here on the mask. And then you take your fuzziness a bit down just to isolate it better. And then OK. Click on the hand tool. Click on the wall and drag to the left. Click over here, drag to the left. And I think that's got all of it. Click OK. And now you'll notice that it kind of like gets undone. It's because we have a mask now applied to it and we have a group. This is because you might need to only brush on certain areas. Uh, maybe you wouldn't want to apply it on everything like you did in the masking. So maybe I want to leave this section like that. Uh, what do we have here? Okay, so that's like a bit of bluish. So we can flatten this and maybe do it again but on a different area like now we want to do this section here okay click on the hand and drag that color out click ok and now you can just brush it so it's a it's it's not so much but you can see a change and then you can flatten Let's do a different image. Okay, we got something like that already. Let's get something different. <clears throat> I think I already adjusted this. Yeah, I set it to default. Okay, so I just did adjustments to this one here. So I took the highlights down. And just to try and even this out. And now I'm going to select all of them. Go to the colors. Okay, so I have the colors out a bit. Okay, so I think that looks fine. Uh, okay, open images. Stack it. Uh, and we want to be by Expo Blend Tools, HDR Merge. Okay, so now here we can maybe bring some more detail from the outside. I'm going to delete this mask of the dark layer and blend dark. I'm going to double click. I'm going to bring up the properties and then increase the feather um, I think I can bring a bit more detail back let me just take this down I just want to see something so it's maybe we can use our levels on this mask just to show more outside detail so let's take this up and maybe take this one down Maybe something like that. Let's see how that looks. Okay, now we can bring up our feather. Okay, 
okay so we can actually go all the way up with that feather so now we have a bit more detail in there I think but you might not want to have it uh, uh, um, bring back so much detail on the ceiling here or even on the ground so let's control or command G group that and click on this button here which is to add a black mask to it and set our flow maybe 10% and then let's start brushing in the detail as we as we need it and only on certain areas not on the on the entire image so we can brush a bit on the ceiling here like that and then I think at this point we can flatten and then control and sh control shift and a or command shift and a and then some camera raw some bit of contrast maybe a bit of texture take some yellows out bit of orange because we don't really want our colors to be glowing this greens also glowing a bit the outside it's also mixed with aqua and okay wait I actually forgot the blues like here below so we can have maybe a slight bit of blue in there okay let's do a different one um, maybe this one okay so again we have a, a hazy bright layer here so we can add some DIs something like that let's select all the layers and take some of that warmth out Okay, open images. Stack them. HDR merge. Mm. Okay, so don't think we do need to do much on this image. Let's bring up our levels again on this Restore Shadows mask. I think we need to move this slider to the right because we want to bring back detail here in the highlighted areas, in the highlights basically. So I'm going to take this all the way down and see how it looks then. But I want to increase my feather now because that's a bit looks a bit HDR-ish there we go that's a that that's better so the, the higher your feather then it's like just blurring your mask and uh, you need to have that blur onto your mask so that it, uh, it's kind of like brushing so when you increase your feather then it's like brushing on the on the image like blending it in man with um hand blending it yeah so not really much i need to do on this image close that um so this one would be similar to that one let's try this one um let's look at this one okay so this again hazy now as you increase the the dehaze you'll notice it gets warmer and that is why I select all of the layers and then I bring down that that yellows and some orange 
So we, we, when we do that, though, we, we want to look at our the, the color of the wood. We want to get it to a nice natural state. Okay, so open images. So naturally, you would have some warmth on the side by the light. So you can leave some in there. If you're going to take everything out, it's going to look like desaturated. HDR merge. I hope I'm being detailed enough in this when I'm doing all of these images. If you if I'm if I'm missing something, then you guys can just message me. So I'm gonna bring up levels again on the restore shadows to try and bring back some of that detail. I wonder let me just take take it down all the way and then increase the feather again. I don't think I want to actually take it down all the way. So let's just take it down a bit. Like till here. Something like that. I think that's fine. Uh, let's look at our dark layer. So we can actually get some more detail back in the dark layer. I'm going to unlock this. Delete the mask. So I, I, I unlocked it so that I can do something with this with this uh, dark layer like I can bring up levels now. And I want to see how much detail I can bring back on this layer because even on the darkest layer it's not really giving much from that side. Not that there's anything really to show there but I just want to show you what you can do. How far can we push this? That's pushing it pretty far but Let's click OK um, and blend dark. Double click on this mask and increase some feather there. So you might need to do this at some point. Uh, so at least then you will know how. So I got back quite a bit of detail there. Um, Looks a bit weird though, maybe increasing the feather would help. Yeah, it does help, but I want to get some more back there. Um, now, I don't like what's happening here at the top by the light. I don't like what's happening there. So, let's group this. Control or Command G. Group this. I don't want to. I don't want to brush on this mask. I don't want to damage what I did there. So the mask I I like by the window, but I don't like what's happening on at the top. So I'm just grouping it so that I don't have to tamper with that mask. And now I'm going to add a mask to this group like that. And now I can just brush the detail in here, just as much as I want. And that's fine. Um, I can bring a bit here at the top. So this way I I, I, I can't go too far. Um, is there anything here? Mm, not much really. Okay, so that's basically it for this image. Um, I can use maybe the color range mask for the ceiling here, although like I said, you, 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 you should actually be some warmth on the side, but let's say you don't want that, um, and here, and here, so I think I've got everything, okay, there's some blue here, and here, I'm going to click OK, let's take out of this color there, got that, take out this blues, and then, did we miss anything here? Okay. So, like that. And then now we can brush that detail out, that color cost. And we don't have to be too careful because we do have a mask that is protecting most of our, our details here, like the wood. Um, 
maybe I'll set this flow a bit lower and just fade this in a bit better here so something like that okay so let's see if there's something else we can do okay let's do one more and then I'll end it off so got a bit of laziness here but I think I changed this it was actually worse I think it was like this yeah so that I added so the A is a bit um, let's see if I did anything with the color okay no so let's do a bit of color take some of that out like this orange is just glowing here okay so now open images stack it it might be my monitor that's making it look so strong so I'm just going according to my monitor um, let's go to our expo blend and HDR merge yeah so once again not left with much to do um, I actually like I actually like it without the mask because it gives us that that brightness in the highlights so I think in this case I'm gonna leave it off and then you can flatten it and then do some adjustments in camera raw I don't even think that it needs anything really after we were done merging it there maybe some slight tweaks and not even really necessary I don't you don't even see much that I just did now it's a slight but so yeah it all depends how you want it um, but I hope this helps um, help you guys uh, work the features a bit better when you're dealing with HDR um, I'm using version what am I using um, 5.17.12 now I did release an update a manual update um, in the groups so if anybody tries to if anybody wants that update then just contact me or comment on the post or whatever and then I'll, I'll hook you up with the with the links that you need cheers